بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته All praise is due to Allah alone We praise Him, we thank Him We seek His guidance and His forgiveness We repent to Him We seek refuge in Allah from the evil of our souls and our sinful deeds Whoever Allah guides, none can mislead And whoever Allah misleads, none can guide A bearer witness that there is no deity, no God worthy of worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a bearer witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and his last messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him. Dear viewers, welcome to the best of knowledge. The scholars have said that the best of knowledge is the knowledge that will enable you to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most. And in this series, we'll be discussing about the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the mightiness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and all the exalted attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In each episode, we'll be, we'll be discussing one of Allah's exalted attributes. And we will ponder on its impact on our lives. And we will see how we should conduct ourselves in the light of this attribute. And today, inshallah ta'ala, we'll be talking about the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The power of Allah the Almighty. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described himself to be the all-powerful. Allah ta'ala said, إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الرَّزَّاقَ Indeed, Allah ta'ala is the all-provider. ذُو الْقُوَّةِ الْمَتِينَ and he is the owner of the power and the most strong. Allah Ta'ala is the all-powerful and he is the owner of power and he is the most strong. Allah Ta'ala is the all-powerful. And Ibn, Ibn al-Qayyim, one of the great scholars said that the power of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala will be manifested in its highest form in the day of resurrection. In that day, people will see the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in its highest form. Allah ta'ala, when he spoke about his power on that day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَوْ يَرَى الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا إِذْ يَرَوْنَ الْعَذَابِ And if the wrongdoers were to see the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the, the, the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will see, أَنَّ الْقُوَّةَ لِلَّهِ جَمِيعًا They will realize that the power, the all power, belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They will see that the power belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the strength or all the strength belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَوْ يَرَى الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا And if the wrongdoers were to see the benefit of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, أَنَّ الْقُوَّةَ لِلَّهِ جَمِيعًا They will see that the all strength belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَأَنَّ اللَّهَ شَدِيدُ الْعِقَابِ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so severe in His punishment. So Allah's power will be, will be shown in its highest form in the day of resurrection. And, and if you ponder upon Allah's power on earth, and if you ponder upon his kingship on earth, just let's look at the heaven. The heaven is full of Allah's hosts. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا يَعْلَمُ جُنُودَ رَبِّكَ إِلَّا هُوْ Nobody knows the amount and the power of Allah's host, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but him. وَمَا هِيَ إِلَّا ذِكْرَى لِلْبَشَرِ and it's only a reminder to mankind. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the sound hadith said that the heaven has grown. The heaven has grown and has mourned. And he said, it, and it has the right to mourn. It has the right to groan. And then he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that there is no, there is no space of four fingers in the heaven, except that there is an angel there. 
worship in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So nobody knows the hosts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the soldiers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. He knows about them. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in a sound hadith, he also said to us that he was given a permission to relate to us a description of one of the angels who bear the throne, who carry the throne. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that I was given a permission to tell you about the angels or one of the angels who carry the throne. He said, between his ear lobes and his chest, a journey of 700 years. And there's only one of Allah's soldiers. He is only one of Allah's soldiers and he has this power and he has this building. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also in the Quran when he spoke about his power and when he spoke about his mightness and when he spoke about the weakness of people Allah Ta'ala said Ya ayyuhannas O oh people Antumul fuqara'u ila Allah You are the poor in your relationship to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Wallahu huwa al-ghaniyul hamid and Allah Ta'ala is the all rich, the only absolute. If he intends, he can eradicate you. He can wipe you out. He can exterminate you. And he can bring a new people. So Allah Ta'ala is so powerful. One command, Allah Ta'ala can eradicate all of us. And he can wipe us out. Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala, it is... He is the owner of the power and the most strong. Tabaraka wa taqaddis. Look at the people of Ad. People of Ad, they are a tribe or a nation who were very powerful, very strong. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may leave the oppressor to do an oppression. He may leave the transgressor to transgress on earth. But if Allah ta'ala takes him, if Allah Ta'ala grasps him, nobody can relieve him from him. Allah Ta'ala in the Quran said, وَكَذَلِكَ أَخْذُ رَبِّكَ And this is how Allah Ta'ala takes the townships while they are doing wrong actions. وَهِيَ ظَالِمَ وَكَذَلِكَ أَخْذُ رَبِّكَ إِذَا أَخَذَ الْقُرَى وَهِيَ ظَالِمَ إِنَّ أَخْذَهُ أَلِيمٌ شَدِيدٌ Indeed, his punishment is so severe. And so strong. People of Ad, the nation of Ad, were very powerful and very strong. To the point that they said, Who is mightier than us? Who is stronger than us? And Allah Ta'ala in the Quran did not mention any one of his creations who was stronger than them. They said, فَأَمَّا عَادٌ فَاسْتَكْبَرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ بِغَيْرِ الْحَقِّ Allah Ta'ala is talking about them. He said, as for Ad, they were arrogant on the land. They were arrogant on earth. بِغَيْرِ الْحَقِّ without a right. وَقَالُوا مَنْ أَشَدُّ مِنَّا قُوَّةٍ They said, who is mightier than us in power? Who is stronger than us? They used to go to the mountains and crave them and change them into palaces. They were very powerful. Allah Ta'ala, when he spoke about their military power, Allah Ta'ala said, وَإِذَا بَطَشْتُمْ بَطَشْتُمْ جَبَّارِينَ And if you fight, you would fight with a powerful manner. They were very strong. And that's why they said, who is mightier than us in power. Allah Ta'ala replied to them, أَوَلَمْ يَعْلَمُوا Can they comprehend? أَنَّ اللَّهَ الَّذِي خَلَقَهُمْ That Allah Ta'ala, the one who has created them, is mightier than them in power. Is stronger than them in power. أَنَّ اللَّهَ الَّذِي خَلَقَهُمْ هُوَ شَدُّ مِنْهُمْ قُوَّةٍ Is mightier than them in power. وَكَانُوا بِآيَاتِنَا يَجْحَدُونَ And they used to belie our verses. And belie our, our revelation. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to them only one of his soldiers. 
He didn't send to them angels. Only one of his soldiers. He sent to them a hurricane, a raging wind. And they were eradicated. They were wiped out. And they were exterminated. Allah Ta'ala said, فَأَرْسَلْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ رِيحًا صَرْصَرًا And we sent upon them a raging wind. فِي أَيَّامٍ نَحِسَاتٍ in evil days. لِنُذِيقَهُمْ عَذَابَ الْخِزِي فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا So that you make them taste the punishment or the punishment of this life. And in the hereafter, they will have a worse punishment. And likewise, every nation who came on this earth and transgressed in Allah's right or oppressed people, Allah Ta'ala subhanahu wa ta'ala took retaliation from them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Qur'an said, فَكُلَّنْ أَخَذْنَا بِذَنْبِ And everyone we took him, and every nation, we took them in their sins. فَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ أَرُسَلْنَا عَلَيْهِ حَاصِبًا Some of them, we have sent to them a hurricane, a raging wind, like Ad. وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ أَخَذَتْهُ الصَّيْحَةً And some of them were overtaken by the awful cry. Just one sound and they were wiped out. وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ خَسَفْنَا بِهِ الْأَرْضِ And some of them we caused the earth to follow them. وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ أَغْرَقْنَا And some of them we drowned in the sea. وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيَظْلِمَهُمْ Allah Ta'ala was never to, to wrong them, but they wronged themselves. How to conduct ourselves in the light of this attribute? We have to show submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, first of all. And also we must comprehend that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the owner of power. And he's the one who gives the power, and he's the one who withdraws the, the power. And that we should know as well that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, once we rely upon him, that he will never let us down. Because he's the all-powerful. وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ And whoever relies upon Allah, فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ عَزِيزٌ حَكِيمٌ Allah Ta'ala will not let him down. Allah Ta'ala will help him to fulfill his needs. I ask Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala uh, to make us humble once we know his attributes of the all-powerful. And we ask him as well to increase our iman and to increase our knowledge. And inshallah, I will see you again uh, on the best of knowledge in the next episode. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.